Hi and welcome to this video. We will discuss how to give access to an employee on NetSuite. So of course you have to make sure that you have enough accesses left and the way to check this is as an administrator to go to setup company and then scroll all the way down to view billing information. Now remember that you have employee accesses and you have super user accesses. Employee accesses are somewhere here, employee center, so here we see that we have 10, we've purchased 10 accesses. So 10 employees can log on to NetSuite through the employee center access. Currently there's only one person using this and the full user is through the full license users. And currently you purchased 40 and there's 34 being used. That means you can still give accesses to six people as full license users. The difference between the two is an employee center access will be able to enter their time. They'll be able to enter their employee expenses for claims. And they'll also be able to um, create purchase order requests. Uh, and of course, they won't be able to create items, customers, transactions, apart from these elements. Whereas the full user uh, access will be able to do whatever you want them to do. Uh, let's say it could be a receivables clerk, a payables clerk, an accountant, a sales rep, a procurement officer, a warehouse manager, etc. Now with that in mind, let's have a look at how to create a new access on NetSuite. So first you're going to have to go to uh, a new employee. So let's go to list employees, employees new. And you're going to create that employee record. If the employee is already there, then just go to the employee you want to give access to. Uh, give it an email. The email will be the employee's login. Put a mobile phone if the employee uh, is going to have a two-factor authentication. And then scroll down and on the access sub tab, you're going to click on give access. Man, you're going to assign a password, a temporary password, and click on require password change on next login. At the bottom, you're going to set the roles that they are supposed to have. So if this is a full access, you can give the person multiple roles. And it's still going to only burn one access. One user can have many roles and permissions and do different things. So you'll go to the human resources sub tab. You're going to make sure that all the elements here are filled up and you're going to click save. So once you click on save, the person will be able to go to netsuite.com and log in. Okay, so they will go to netsuite.com, they'll log in, they'll use their email and they'll put their password. Once they're logged in, then they will be able to access whatever permission and role you gave to them. I hope this made sense to you. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and see you on the next video. Goodbye.